Still dodging a destroyer, but we've got a she's going down message, and it is in the area of the convoy. Which means the troop ship has succumbed to a single torpedo, surprising me very much, actually, because these things usually take two, almost always take two. Um, even giving them a lot of time to sink, they'll need two, but hey, I was figuring it would be the destroyer, which... Oh, it's way over there. So it's been crippled. It's just sitting over there. Let's actually go take a look at it because really the uh, destroyers are having a... The single destroyer that is chasing us is having a very hard time with us. This um, destroyer actually looks pretty much okay. It just can't move. <laughs> kind of surprising. Usually if you hit one of these with a torpedo, it will blow up. But whatever. Like I said, the point was to disable it, not to get massive amounts of tonnage. But we have gotten some tonnage in the form of the troop ship, so now we just have to keep dodging, keep on shucking and jiving and hipping and hopping. You don't stop a rocking. Um, actually, as I say this, they have given up. He's in this area, it looks like, just kind of derping around, so we might be in the clear. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, spoke too soon. Let's see here. I think one thing that is key in these situations, it, it might be kind of cheesy, but I think that the AI wants you to sail away from the convoy before it will stop chasing you. If you sail away from the convoy, it's more likely, in my experience, that it'll stop pinging the shit out of you and depth charging you. If you keep up with it, it's more likely that the escorts will uh, persist in annoying you. And speaking of annoying, yeah, we're good. Okay, um, that's the destroyer back there. This is the main body of the convoy, probably the lead here. Um, yikes. And then uh, this guy here is the one that's harassing us. Um, I'm just going to keep on dodging and uh, maybe take another shot at these guys. Who knows? Well, in uh, good news, folks, we've uh, avoided the depth charges. We're alive. Um, everything's fine on the boat. Uh, I'm going to take another run at that convoy I think because it's on the way conveniently enough but in uh, in sad news um, we're losing the fucking war <laughs> everything has gone totally sideways and in addition to this delightful bit of news um, the German forces have withdrawn from the Ardennes and this was earlier Warsaw has fallen to the Soviet forces so you can see here uh, well, I haven't changed too much on the map yet, but this is going to swiftly become very red very quickly. Um, and the Americans and British are coming from over here. Canadians, too. Let's not forget our friends to the north. Uh, free Polish, uh, free French, and whatnot. Um, sweeping in this way. Russians just coming at them like a goddamn hurricane of communism from the east. Um... So yeah, here we are in the Mediterranean, just you know, having a grand old time. January nineteenth, the weather is quite balmy. You know, we're not even wearing our rubbers. Yeah, you know, we're feeling that comfortable. We don't feel like we have to wear rubbers. Um, not a good good idea, folks. Safety first. But we're um, continuing our pursuit of the convoy with one destroyer knocked out. They have two escorts total. I think I can handle that, and I think that there are some pretty delectable targets still in there. They are, of course, at their liberty to change course, so we'll see if we can uh, catch up with them. Um, otherwise, uh, we're heading to Malta, which is right here. Maybe we will be Maltese Falcons. Maybe we'll uh, go for the big elbow off the top rope and just hit the mat, though. Who knows? Oh, no! Well, I've actually uh, bumped into them, kind of. Uh, you can see there's some ships off in the distance. That is the convoy we've been pursuing. Um, I wasn't really anticipating running into them here. And uh, that's partially because they're a bit further south than I thought they would be. So it looks like they might have evened out their course. They might be going due east. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about, but let's see here. The troop ship was sunk at just after 8 o'clock. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if that's to the general position of the convoy, that's been about uh, four hours. 
lucky for us, they're probably going, they were probably not going, they could be going six and a half, I guess, but they probably were zigzagging for a good part of that. I would say they're going at about seven knots at this point, seven or eight. So they increased their speed and they've changed their course. I'm going to put eight knots in and I'm going to try to intercept them in four hours. So that is another 60. Is that right? Am I looking at the right column? Six and a half. Yeah, I'll put eight in. So we'll put 60 down as the line here. And mark it as due east. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> and you know what? Let's half that. Let's make it two hours. So I bet I can catch up with them. No, don't do that. We do need to go further south, though, to avoid detection. <laughs> Might bring it like that, maybe. Hopefully we stop being seen or seeing them. Going to break things off. It's not you, it's me. Etc, etc. Uh, let's kill the uh, recharge, too. Yeah, I know. There's ships over there. Good job, guys. All right. So now we're out of visual range. Let's um, just keep going a little bit more southerly for a little bit. Maybe to here. And then uh, we'll try to run alongside them. And get into a firing position again. All right. I think we are um, in position here. It looks pretty good. Um, I've got us crawling along at about one knot. I might have us go ahead for just another couple of, of minutes here. At a head slow for a full four knots, um, but yeah, we're we're looking pretty good. And I'm think I'm kind of debating with myself about whether or not I should just feed seven knots or six knots or eight knots or something uh, into the TDC. I'm just by virtue of the fact that I'm kind of uh, giving a range of speeds right there. <laughs> I think that that's an indication I should probably go to the trouble of getting a correct reading. So maybe we'll actually back up because I don't want to get too close, especially with escorts around. We'll just wait for another couple of minutes here. Okay, now let's crawl ahead at one knot. For a, well, wait a minute. I bet you they're going slower than what I was saying earlier. But let's go ahead and slow down and then we'll take a proper reading if we can. We've got warships. Goody, goody. Alright, yeah, we might want to actually up our speed, because these guys are pretty far away, but I can identify that one right off the bat. That's our large cargo from before. <laughs> My favorite part. There we go. Oh, we lost the lock. Well, that's a sure sign that we do need to get closer, and that's another large cargo. Those are really the only targets I think I'm interested in at this point. That might be something over there. Although, it could just be a small freighter. Uh, there's the escort there, and the other escort there. Uh, yeah, let's increase speed uh, ahead slow. Get closer and then do a proper uh, range and uh, speed reading here. I'm pretty satisfied with saying that they're going due east. I should also be running silent. And the fact, you know what, the fact that we're um, kind of evening out with them at four knots makes me kind of think that they've slowed down to four knots, possibly. But, oh, what are you doing? What you doing? Who do you think you are? Uh, 
Okay, okay. Now it's time. It's it's time. It is time for magic. There we are. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do my reading off of this one, though, because he's a little bit more level. Um, a little bit more even with us. Oh, actually, I don't like that AOB, or the range, rather. So I think he's considerably closer than that. You can't ask for a much better reading than that, I guess, but that doesn't look right to me. Based on what we were seeing on the map. Um, it's actually probably about right. Okay, speed it out. I don't know if I've explained this or not, but uh, the reason I go at one knot is because the game will definitely allow you to just sit still in the water at zero knots, but that is not at all realistic. Um, it's extremely difficult to keep a submarine like this perfectly still. Aha! Perfectly still. Uh, it, it just doesn't work that way. So wait, now... Can I see these guys side by side, maybe? I'm inclined to think that this guy's actually closer. I could look at the map and use our heavenly eye to determine that. But then again, he's... Well, we'll shoot at this one first. And then the question is, should we use magnetics or should we use impacts? I think I will go with magnetics and set him to actually... Set him to 11, I guess. Turn it up to 11. That guy is closer. Balls. Okay, let's do this one. It's as much as makes no difference, though, I think, but... Well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know, you guys. I just work here. Um, 69. Solid solution in any event. Hey, wait a minute. That's not what I want. Wait, I could actually do this. I could set it so that that's actually more correct. Yeah. Okay. So real quick, um, if these are magnetics, good lord, there's so much noise going on outside. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. I'm trying to create art in here. God. <laughs> All right. I'm setting those to uh, 11 meters because the draft is 9.9. .9. Anywho. <laughs> God. How much noise can be made outside while I'm recording? Let's find out. Okay. Moving on. And tell you what, let's move it to 332. Should make it 28 less than. I can't do math. 62. That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna. So I'm gonna up it. I don't think we're exactly dead on with them. Go to this. Set the thing to the thing. I think we'll still land hits, even if the AOB is slightly off. If it's off by like two degrees, it really makes no difference. I almost clicked on that. That would have been a mistake. And I'm going to give this a little bit more leeway here. Leeway Jenkins! Actually, we'll go... We'll go deep. Alright. I'm 
pretty satisfied with that. Um, but it will remain to be seen whether or not I should be. And uh oh, unless that's that's better be him. If it's not, then we have missed. And even if that is him, we might have missed. Let's go on the surface. Oh, it is him because he's in the next row. Or is he? Yes. It's him! Oh, good. Well, we got one hit. That other one is possibly going to run a stern. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I don't see it. Well, crap. How about the other one? I was right, actually. This one is closer. And I can hear a torpedo. Oh, hello, Mr. Torpedo. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Gotta be careful with that time compression. Holy cats. That's not a pretty sound. Oh, oh there's another. Ooh, right in the middle again. We got burning boxes. And boxes that are fading away into nothingness. That is peculiar. Well, I think we went three for four. Um, let's see. Do we have... There's still an icon there for a torpedo. So, yeah, we did go three for four. Um, not bad, though. Not bad at all. I'm uh, 30 meters under. And um, they are very unhappy, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's going to be some attacks incoming, um, but for now, I'm just going to celebrate. I'm going to have a sip of coffee and pat myself on the back, and that's going to be kind of difficult to do at the same time. Here we go. Pat, pat, pat. Ah, I did it. All right. Uh, let's uh, see what happens with the escorts now. Well, we've got a sinking notification for one of our targets. That's good. Let's see. It's probably the one I hit with two, I would assume. Yes, indeed. It's this fellow back here. It looks like he's about to feel the embrace of Neptune. Or Poseidon. He's going on a Poseidon adventure, if you will. Ta-ta. Alright, well, the other one is still afloat. I'm... Wowzers. Goodness gracious. What did you eat? Um, the other one is still afloat. You can see it over there, but... That's no secret. Um, the escorts really didn't search for me for too long. Um, one of them was kind of hanging out over probably about here. And I was worried we would get pinged, but we have not been pursued meaningfully. So uh, that's the rear escort. Ooh, speaking of which. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I don't want to get too close to him because he'll pick me up on hydrophone. That's fine. Okay. If you get within about 800 meters or so, I guess this is 750, but this line here, I've noticed that they'll detect you regardless, so I try to avoid that. Um, all right. Meanwhile, let's go to the north now. And yeah, it looks like we're good. Um, I'm not too sure about taking a second shot at that other one. Reason being is that we're actually kind of low on ordnance, so I might just kind of make a beeline for Malta and try to take uh, some shots at whatever is in the harbor there. It's an interesting harbor layout there. It might be kind of difficult. If we can angle in this way for this, well, that's, that's a matter for another time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to shoot at too much stuff unless it's really, really awesome, <laughs> like a really excellent target. We, I'm already in the process of, well, I've said which torpedoes I want loaded in here. Um, and then we have two more left. So it's really something where I want to probably be a little bit more conservative uh, with my ordnance at this point. Um, large cargo is a nice target. Let's see how much, yeah, we got about 6,000 tons off of that, but it's not the best and I think we can do better. So let's try to do better. Yay, let's uh, go to Malta. <laughs> what better way to do better than to go to Malta? Oh my god, this could be rough, but we're, we're going to try it. 
That's a little bit worrisome. We have a ship spotted, and it is showing up as a convoy. Um, heading east-southeast. Oh, I wonder if this is our convoy from before. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Um, let's steer this way and go under, then. Well, this guy's heading west, but the convoy is heading east-southeast, so he's probably just looping around. I'm not going to hunt this. Uh, for reasons I already stated. Although we do have our torpedoes loaded again. I think that this is a pretty high traffic area regardless, so... Not a big deal if we miss out on an opportunity like this. Um, when we come back from Malta. If we come back from Malta, there will probably still be traffic here. And we'll still be able to shoot it, hopefully, because we'll have leftover torpedoes. Uh, looks like we're doing okay. Looks like we're out of their reach, so I'm going to continue on. Oh, sweet Jesus. Where are they going? West? Not interested. <sighs> I'm not going to shoot at him, like I said, but we're going to have to get under. Supposedly this convoy is heading west. And there we go. Let's just take a look at him. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's actually not as big of a ship as it looks. Um, if I recall correctly, those are like 7,000 tons, which is still respectable, but I want to conserve ammunition for Malta. Did I already pass it? I must have passed it because it's a single... Is that really it? cheating flagrantly here, but I'm not shooting at it, so it's okay! It's my excuse. Um, I think that's it. And then, like I said, that's a 5,600 ton ship. That's respectable, but if we're going to Malta, I think we might run into bigger targets. Such as battleships. Basically, that's what I'm looking for in Malta. Uh, why don't we just go look at the convoy? I don't really feel like that's out of, out of the question. I've already committed to not shooting at it. Sometimes I do like to just look at these when I'm out of ammo and stuff and I happen upon them. Just like to see what the game likes to throw together. There's the troop ship over there. Right where my cursor is. There's a large merchant. Large cargo. Um, Chatham or whatever. Not Chatham. That other kind. The one that we sank earlier. Yeah, this is basically a troop convoy. Well darn. But they're heading the other way, so I don't care. A um, little concerned about this here, though. I'm going to steer away, and then I'm going to steer uh, this away. And I don't have a nav officer. <laughs> Everybody's tired. Uh, there we go. Well done. All right. Let's get you here. Switcheroo, and there we go. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to continue on. whoops a daisy Shouldn't have been on the surface that long. Ooh, he he's coming in hot. Spicy. And we'll be under in plenty of time. Let's take a look at what the... Oh, I know what this is. This is a... Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, what's it called? A Sparviero! That's what it is. Sparrowhawk. And god, they are ugly. <laughs> so this is an Italian plane that has been... Uh, well, the Italians actually changed sides. I was going to say it has been repurposed by the Allies, but it's actually, you know, the Italians are on the other team now, so... Huh. I was not expecting to see one of these in particular. Um, they are just hideous, though. Whoa. Interesting uh, angle you picked to launch your bombs at. <laughs> just like, fuck it. <laughs> just throw them over there. <laughs> okay, well, that was sure a bombing run of some kind. Good job. Kind of fun. Well, anyways, 
<laughs> we're making our uh, approach to Malta, and um, I've got us kind of on this fish hook course here, I guess. Um, I, I, you know how I love hooking. Ha ha ha. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, but yeah, this is about how I'm thinking of doing it. Obviously, I want to make as much use of the deep water as I can. Um, it looks really shallow in here, though, and I don't really know about getting shots into the inner harbor here. Because we'll have to actually get into here in order to hit anything that's here. I'm pretty pretty sure about that. If it's like in here, let's say. Yeah, not so much. That's not happening. Oh, good. In other news, what you doing? Oh, I'm not over here at all. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> you have been mistaken about the reports of a submarine in the area. And let me tell you, you, you are pursuing nothing at all. Fantastic. And he's going on his merry way. All right. Well, we shall go on our merry way right into the, the arms of the British Navy, I'm sure. But... We'll just try to be as cautious as we can be as we make our final approach. Perhaps our final, final approach to anything. Joy of joys. I cannot wait for this. <laughs>